Uh, we have a first lot of 30 students going to India. This is the first time the STEM scholarship students are going to India. They are going into from here to uh, Port Moresby to Singapore, Singapore to New Delhi. From New Delhi, five hours journey to uh, Punjab State, a uh, place called Jalandhar. And the university name is called Lovely Professional University. And it's the largest it's a private university. And uh, there are more than close to 50,000 there. And our students are the first time to go there. Uh, there are 40 uh, nationalities in that school. Uh, it has all the faculties. So our students are taking various subjects like artificial intelligence and uh, bachelor in uh, biomedical engineering, biotechnology, uh, me mechanical engineering and uh, aerospace engineering, so on. So thanks to the government of Papua New Guinea, thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister, uh, James Marape, for making this happen. Last year, first lot of students went to America, and this is the second batch this year going to India, first batch, and uh, the next lot to America and China and Fiji the coming weeks. So on behalf of all the parents and us and students, I would like to thank the government and our minister and our secretary and all the department officials for making things happen. And congratulations to all the students and thanks to the parents also making to participate in this scholarship program. All the students graduated from the six national schools of excellence where we offered a dual curriculum, the normal block science called upper secondary school certificate, grade 12. And we also offered a STEM curriculum, so studied year 11 and 12. So they got a dual certificate called Diploma in STEM education, secondary education. So they've done well. They came in the top. So there are about 200 students this year eligible to get the scholarship. So depending on all the support and things, so most of the students have taken. They, they're going to India all into one university. Actually, they got a couple of other universities placed. There were about two to some place, three, four, but we decided to put them all in one location for the first time. Okay. Next year, we can explore other possibilities. They are studying uh, various uh, bachelor degree programs, particularly engineering and IT related subjects, information and technology, like artificial intelligence, uh, uh, computer applications, and uh, data science. So those are the programs they're studying. And also biotechnology, biomedical engineering, lab technology. Uh, there is also physiotherapy. Some students have taken physiotherapy. What can you say about the STEM program as an investment for Papua New Guinea? It's an investment for the future. It's only for the top students who are very good in grade 8 and grade 12, shown the highest academic performance. They can take it. It's a very challenging program. And our teachers have done well in the 6th National School of Excellence. Though we are in the initial stage, we have a lot more to do, but our students have done well. It, it, it's a curriculum for the future. Thank you, and I would like to thank all the principals and teachers and students uh, who went through National Schools of Excellence. And it's an encouragement for the other Papua New Guinea students to look towards that opportunity to take it. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Sifara Niva. I'm from Morobe, but I brought up in West New Britain. So the last school I attended was um, Kerevet National School of Excellence, and now I am on a STEM scholarship to um, study bachelor in physiotherapy uh, um, at Lovely Professional University. What do you think about this uh, opportunity being uh, given to you to study in India? Um, this opportunity, um, I think it's a good because it helps our parents, some of us, our parents are struggling for our school fee. So um, with this scholarship, we can um, pursue our dreams. So what do you hope to uh, learn in India and uh, contribute back to Papua New Guinea? So yeah, I'm going to go to India and yeah, I'm going to specialize in that field, so I'll come back in PNG and um, help. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go to India and I'm going to specialize in that field, so I'll come back in Papua New Guinea and help, especially like in hospitals and some other sectors. Okay, so family or? Um, um, yeah, I just want to take this time to thank all my families and those ones who helped me, especially financial side. Uh, my name is Nathan L. Senni Memba. I'm from ECP province. Last school attended National School of Excellence, Wasan. And I'm very, very, very glad to be, uh, I mean, accepted 
and this scholarship, STEM scholarship, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm coming to India to study uh, computer science. What, what What's your comments about being given this opportunity to go study in India? Um, yeah, I was very, very, very excited and uh, I was given this opportunity to go to India, get knowledge and yeah, go to India, get knowledge and come back and develop my country in my field. Uh, I am my big thanks to uh, my family and uh, my relatives who support me, the government uh, who funded us. My big uh, thanks and word of uh, acknowledgement to all of them. And I'm very excited to take this opportunity and scholarship to go and study. To thanks very much. For my school, Pasam, we have 10 students going to India now, which I am proud as the principal for the achievement that uh, we, are, we have achieved and we wish to contribute uh, good human resources to our nation through these 10 students that have gone. I still have some students to go to US and go to China still pending. So I'm a proud principal for the achievement of my students. And we look forward to contributing more to the development of our country through human resources. And our school is one of the six schools of excellence that is selected. Thank you to the government of the day. Thank you to the Prime Minister, Mr. Honorable James Marabe, for taking this on board and selecting PASAM to be one of the six schools of excellence. And we have lived up to the expectations. And we, take, uh, we look forward to contributing more to the team that is our secretary, Dr. Combra, for supporting the course and ensuring that this program comes to pass. So thank you very much to all the team in the education department for making this uh, dream come to reality. We look forward to more to come next year.